So my hand. 
half, 2 over 3, 10 over 12, 8 over 18, 25 to the 6th power, times 84, 84 times 2, 84, minus 10, 8, 60, 84, 0. So that is an example of out of order counting. This was the first time I added like negative numbers and multiplying though, so whatever, I'm so random. So 
manos Ponen tus manos aquí Y allá Aquí y allá And rotate it So yeah That is a very uh, interesting trick Or that really haven't seen that anywhere before And for the finale Finale The finale is um, A super underrated trick Or that I can't say I've ever seen before But I could be wrong I mean it could be out there I've just never seen it um, I do this series It's like a twisted Reiki series So it's basically a lot of hand movements And stuff like this But I am kind of a bit more aggressive And forceful And try to get the viewer to focus on me Only listen to me I try to control you And get all your attention For the duration of the video To help you focus only on What's happening right now And not to think about And worry about anything else that's going on So it's like suggestive talking Or something like that I don't know so I'm going to demonstrate a little bit uh, to close out the video, okay? I hope you'll enjoy. <clears throat> okay. I need you to focus now, okay? It's alright. Just listen. Listen to the sound of my voice. Focus on me. Focus. Focus. Focus, 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 focus on me. Watch my hand movements. Watch the direction. The direction. You listen to my voice. 
a lot. <laughs> my name, my name is Alyssa. 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 I will be cutting your hair for you today, okay? I will be doing your hair today. Today, I will be doing your hair, okay? You've come in for a haircut, haven't you? Haven't you? Haven't you? Haven't you? I can just tell I'm psychic like that. the blue 
scissors, tapping on the scissors, tapping on the scissors. Tapping, I'm tapping on the red handle scissors. I'm tapping on them. I'm tapping on the red handle, the handle, the handle, the handle scissors. These are the red handle scissors. Tapping on the red handle scissors. And cut, cut, cut. And cut, cut, cut. And cut, cut, cut. Cut, 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 cut. Cut.
bit. Do, 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 bit. I'm just gonna plug it in. Plugging it in. Plugging it into the electricity. Plugging it. Plugging it into the electricity. Okay, now I'm grabbing the handle. There, you can see all the air is gonna come out of this spot right there. Okay, I'll set it to a nice cool temperature. Okay, click, click, click. Click, click, click. Here we go.
Awesome. Well, I see yeah, you've really grown out your hair pretty long, huh? Yeah, I got pretty long since the last time I saw you. <laughs> so what are you looking for today? Oh, a big cut? You want to cut like a big lot of it off? A big lot, 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 lot of it? Sure, okay, that's no problem. I hope you don't mind uh, the lighting today. We're just practicing, uh, testing out a little bit of different lighting. So I hope that you don't mind. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> So go ahead and have a seat. Have a seat. Have a have, have, have a seat. Yeah. Just right there is great. I think I'm just gonna set up a little bit, okay? So there we go. Perfect. Um Yep, go ahead, take a seat. Let me just adjust the chair. Bump, 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 bump. There we go, perfect. Just wanna make sure I have a good angle. Is that good? You feel comfortable? Do you feel comfortable? Comfortable?
Oh my. My, 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 my. Let's take a look at you. Let's take a look at you. How did you get here? How did you stumble, stumble, stumble into my lair? How did you stumble into my lair? My, you do look delicious. You look very scrumptious, scrumptious, scrumptious. <laughs> I did just finish the feasting on my dinner, but I didn't have dessert. Perhaps you will do. <laughs> Perhaps you will do indeed. Well, there's no need to worry, my child. All I will do is prepare you. Prepare you for an eternal slumber. I am curious, though, how you landed here. Slight curiosity, I must say. It's been a while since I've actually seen a human like you. You do seem a little bit different. Hmm. Intriguing. I haven't been up to the surface in, oh, many a years, actually. It was something I enjoyed a lot. I used to love to go to the surface to hunt, hunt my meals. They always tasted the best. But later years have made it more challenging, challenging, challenging. It's way too cold up there. It's very cold up there on the surface. Not only that, but it starts to dry out your skin. It's something that I allow that. So, I resided down here, into this tunnel, into this chamber. Do you like the atmosphere? It is quite relaxing, isn't it? The light, just barely, 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 grazing your eyes, 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 eyes. It's a nice red, pinkish kind of hue. But anyways, no, no, don't mind those, don't mind those bodies there, no, 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 they're just resting, they're just sleeping, it's proof that I know what I'm doing and I'll be able to help you rest eternally too, you needn't worry, okay, okay, just let me take care of you, alright, teeth, that's right, you... You humans are used to seeing us vampires with sharp fangs and teeth like, like these ones right here, right? Yes, well, I do have a pair, these ones right here, but really I only use them if I have to go to the surface. Otherwise, they can be a little bulky and tend to get in the way. Sometimes I use them if I will bite, 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 bite my victims directly. Bite my victims, bite my victims directly, but nowadays we uh, vampires have other methods of extracting the sangre, extracting the blood. Some vampires even use straws, can you believe that? And they literally just suck your blood through a straw. I, however, use much different methods, much more relaxing, soothing, ritualistic, 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 ritualistic methods to savor my prey. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. First, I'm going to give you this. It's a little coin. What is that? Don't want any interruptions. This is a lucky coin. You take this coin and keep it with you. Keep it in your pocket while you are resting eternally. Okay, my sweet love. Take it. Take the coin. Take the coin. 
coin. Take the coin. Take the coin. Take it. Take the coin. Take the coin. Take the coin. Take, take, take it. Good. Hold on to that, okay? You're going to need it if you ever wish to awake from your eternal slumber. It's your one get out of jail free card. If you have friends, that is, who will be willing to sacrifice themselves. But always I give my victims the option, just in case. I'm not that cruel, you know. All right, so my child, first I need to take a little bit of a sample. A sample, nom, 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 a sample from you. Ah, you do look really sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. I mean sweet to me. layer cake with buttercream frosting. Layers of red cherry liqueur. Mm, and a moist, fluffy chocolate layers. How delicious. That is what I think of when I look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Alright. Like I said, a little bit of a sample from you. Sample, sample, sample. A little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a sample. No need to worry. It won't hurt you. 10, 12, 18, 42, 89, samples now. I'm going to put this sample in the jar as well. As well. As well. This sample will go into the jar as well. Okay. Now. <coughs> Next. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of magic. Us vampires do know a little thing or two, a thing or two or three or ten or twenty about magic. <gasps> Don't worry, it's going to be fun. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit of this essence on.
To uh, get all that stuff that I sent you? Yeah? Did you have any questions or anything? Or it was all pretty self explanatory, right? No? Oh. You do have some questions? Okay. Yeah? You brought the stuff? It's just right over here? What? Oh, this, this here, right? Okay. Oh, did I really send you all this stuff? <laughs> Alright, well. What what kind of questions did you have about it? I mean, this is, um, the box is closed right now. The box is closed right now. And then you open the box like this. You close it and you open it. You close it and you open it. You close the box and then you open the box. Yeah? So that, that part's okay? You got that part? Okay, so close the box. Open the box. Uh-huh. Sierra, abrir. Sierra, abrir. Close and open. Good. Okay. Oh, now it's closed. <laughs> okay. Let's get into. Let's get into the content that's inside this box. Okay, I'm just gonna put it down for a sec. So, the first thing we find um, are these string lights. Yeah, for Christmas, right? You gonna put them up in the house? really pretty 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 so which part was complicated this part here uh, this is where the batteries go so this is where you put the batteries I'm pretty sure I put batteries in there too yep right here see so three batteries and the batteries go inside here you put the batteries inside the battery compartment there's three batteries so you have to look inside here first and it's going to tell you if you put the positive or negative charge side, you know, which way it goes. So generally, you know, the easiest way without looking at those symbols is just to know that the flat part is always going to go with the springs. Yeah? So you're never going to put the bumpy part with the spring part. You're generally always going to put the flat part there. So, but... If it's easier, you just take a look here. You can see one it says plus and one says minus. So you want to line it up in here. So the plus sign is up here. So we want to make sure we take the plus sign on the battery and put it at the plus top side. You got it? And obviously the negative side, the minus, is going to go here. Okay, and you just push down like that. And generally you hear a little click. Okay, so usually the one that's beside it is going to be the opposite way. So usually they're not the same way. So again, we look for the flat part and we're going to put it and push it up against the springs. Okay, so don't try and do this side first. Always try to do the part with the spring first. It'll be easier. Like if I try to do it this way, this way first, then it kind of like gets stuck. See? So the springs are there, so you push down on them, and then you can clip it in like that. See? Because the springs are basically just like some extra, you know, so that there's more space. Do you understand? Okay. So there's three batteries in here. One, two, three. And then all you have to do is close the lid, and um, the light should go on. Did you want to see them? All right. So I'm going to close the lid. Oh, just give me one second. So... To close this lid, you kind of got you got to do this. You got to push this back first. Yeah. So once you've pushed that back, then you can squeeze with your fingers a little bit and then snap that into place as well. See? So now it's all the batteries are safe in there. Then to get the lights to go on, you have to push the button. Well, there's the button right there. See? So you just push that one. And then you're going to get the lights, okay? And the more times you push it, um, you can see there's like words on there, description of what's going to happen, what colors you might see, what rate or speed it's going to go, okay? So, what do you think? Do you like it? <laughs> it's really pretty, right? So, different. 
different types of lights and just keep pushing it to get the different effects until you find one that you like. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit, um, knotted up. So maybe after I show you the other stuff, um, then, you know, we can unknot it, un untangle it. It's a bit of a process, so I should, I should show you later, okay? Alright, so what else do you have here in this jar? Well, in this box, you have this really big jar. Jar, you have this really big jar here. And, uh, yeah, I put pineapples in it because I know you like pineapples. You like piñas. So, yeah. Uh, what, what kind of help do you need with the jar? With the jar, 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 with the jar. You need help to open the jar. Okay, that's super easy. Basically, you take one hand and you, you hold the jar with one hand. And your other hand, usually your dominant hand. So, if you're right-handed, you would usually use your right hand for that and vice versa. And you just kind of twist it. And the way you know which way is, you'll feel like it will get really loose. If you try to go the other way, there's just like a lot of resistance, so you know that that's not the way to turn it. So you just want to hold firm and just try to twist it until you kind of feel a release. And you just keep twisting it and twisting it and you kind of lift up at the same time and then it comes off, right? And in this part, you just take your fingers just right underneath and just like lift it super easy there's no resistance there and now you have it open so here have some pineapples they're very very good nice dried fruit and then basically if you want to close it you put this piece on first on top like that and then you get this piece again um remember you're still holding it you just put it on top first and then you just start to turn it in one direction until it gets firm and you kind of put your hand on the top go like this until it's completely closed and there you go now we've closed the jar so super simple super 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 simple next i see you have the fitbit the fitbit so do you want to know how to put it on right Okay, so basically you you take it, um, most likely you're going to hold it with your dominant hand again, so probably your right hand. You put your left hand out and you just put it like that, put it on top, you can even balance it, right? And then you take this hand and you kind of put it here, and while you're doing that you kind of push it against your body a bit. Usually you do it a bit lower, but I can show you. And then you're going to take this part right here, this part right here, and, and it's going to go inside like that. And then you just push it all the way down until it's like, you know, the tightness that's, you know, feels just right for your wrist. And then you push that piece in there. Just push that little piece in there. And that's it. And then if there's a lot of extra left over, you'll just use this extra piece to slide it inside so it's more smooth like that see so I'll show you again but I'll demonstrate on myself on myself on myself this time okay so to get it off you just open it like that like so and zip zip zippity do super super easy okay ready so you always want to make sure that the part with all the holes is facing towards you okay so put it on Bring it close to your body. Get this little piece inside there. You kind of just pull it around your wrist until you feel the tightness that's good. And then you see that little piece right there? See it? See it? Do you see it? So that piece is going to go right inside the hole like I demonstrated earlier. And then the rest of this will slide in like that. And there you go. Now it's on. And... Voila! Okay. Is there anything else you had that you wanted me to take a look at? A few more things in the box? Okay. This little lighter. This little lighter. Lighter, lighter, lighter. Alright, so how do you work it? Okay. Well, basically this one, you just 
See this part right here? You want to push down on it. Generally, you would use your thumb. So you kind of hold it like this. Kind of hold it like the, how I'm doing it. And then you would just push down. But with a f aggressive kind of gesture. So like that. And see? So it's like a wheel here, kind of. And you just push the wheel down a bit. Okay, ready? Again? Maybe a little closer, maybe. See? So, yeah. And basically, this is like the liquid in there. So once it's all used up, then it won't work anymore. So you'll have to get another one. Okay? Yeah, that one was easy, right? Yeah, so remember, just put your thumb, roll it along the little wheel until it pushes this little pump. And then the fire will come up. Oh yeah, so we have this one as well. Yeah, this is the, um, the eyeshadow I got you, the NYX eyeshadow. How do you open it? Well, this one is like a pump one, so it's similar to the jar, you know how we had to twist it and turn it? So this one is the same, you just turn it, turn it. So at first, you're kind of doing it opposite. So you're turning the lid in the opposite direction that you're turning the the base just to get the little edge off you know just to get that final piece moving or if you just hold it really still and just turn that also works too so if i'm holding it firm and i just turn the lid you'll feel a little you know a little tension and then all done and as you're turning it it will go up 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 until you're able to just get it right up like that and then to apply it you want to just kind of close one eye at a time and you can just go like this to um, apply it. And after you apply a little bit, then you, you take the brush and you put it back inside. You dip it inside. You kind of like pump it a bit to get more. And if you need to, you can sort of uh, tap a little bit off on the edge and apply some more. And then when you're all done, you put it back on like that. And then you turn it again until all the way at the bottom you feel a little tension and then it's closed super 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 simple um so we also have this here this is a little ribbon a ribbon a ribbon a ribbon a ribbon so for this ribbon what exactly do you want to do with it oh you want to know how to get the sticky part well, basically at the back here, there's instructions. It actually says at the back here, peel off backing, press firmly to the package. Peel off backing, press firmly to the package. That's what it says like twice. So essentially what you want to do here is just kind of look for a corner piece where you can peel, you can separate the paper part from the sticky part that's attached to the ribbon, okay? So generally, you just want to take your nail and try to find the edge. I can't say I'm very good at that, to be all honest, but you just keep searching for the piece. And then, well, that's not it. And then once you get it like right here, once you get it, you just peel it. You just pull it back like this. And now you'll see there's two, right? There's this, this one, which is sticky. They stick on the present, and this is just paper that can come right off. Okay, so the key here is just to like peel it from the edges, and you, you'll get it. Yep. And then after that, you you stick it on the present. Yep. You stick it on the present like that. Okay, that's easy. Oh, you have another thing here actually, too, too. I think you have this. It's called a stapler. What do you use a stapler for? Um, it's for when you have lots of paper and you want them to stay together. So basically, you would open it up here. Actually, no. You, you get the piece of paper and you put it right inside here, right there. And then you press down, press down, press down. And then it's supposed to little staple is supposed to come out and like clip the papers together like attach them so they stay together so you just push 
push, push, push. That's basically how they work. Super easy, this one. Yeah, if you had some paper, I could demonstrate. You don't have any paper. Okay. Well, you can make it from a tree. You have to get the tree and then, like, you make it into pulp. And then it's, like, wet. And then you press it. Oh, no, you don't want to hear about that. Okay. No worries. The last thing, then, is uh, this brush. So... It's just a simple purple hairbrush. Simple, simple brush. Oh, so you use this to brush your hair like this. See? Super easy. Kind of gets all the knots out. So on this side, it's got like sharp little teeth and little bristles. And then you use that and you run it through your hair. So it gets rid of all the knots. Sometimes you have to hold up a bit to really get out some of the knots, otherwise it will yank on your hair and it can hurt. So, just like this. To get out the knots. And then there you go. Just keep doing it until you're satisfied with the smoothness and softness of your hair. And that's all. The brush, the hairbrush, the brush, the brush, the brush. And that's all. That's all the stuff uh, I got for you. So I hope that um, I was able to make things a little bit more clear for you and show you how to use them. If you have any more things you need help um, figuring out how to use, how to use, how to use, then please let me know so I can help you. Okay, let's go make some tea. Let's go make some tea. Let's Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. Welcome to Sally's Boutique. My name is Alyssa. 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 Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome to Sally's Boutique. My name is Alyssa. Is there something I can help you with today? Is there something I can help you with today? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, you've come in to take a look at our range for like holiday gift ideas that's awesome that's great well i'd love to show them to you i actually hand picked out the items um for this special sale uh, so i really hope that you'll find something uh, that you really think is a great gift a great gift for someone please come this way please come come please come this way come this way come this way come this way yeah go ahead and take a seat right there are you comfortable <laughs> All right, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some, I'm gonna show you some of the accessories first, like handbag, headpieces, like that. Then I'll go through some jewelry items, and then I will go through the fragrances and the perfumes, okay? Does that sound all right? Lovely. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's get started, started, started. So the first thing I wanna show you this lovely sparkly bag. This can be a makeup bag or a handbag when you go out. It's got lots of sparkles. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkles. Super shiny. It's kind of like black. And the sparkles are like silvery purple, like galaxy glitter I like to call it. And this is the zipper up here. This is the zipper up here. And to open it, you just go like this. And then it opens. So that's how you open the bag. You just use the zipper to open it. And inside, there is a reasonable amount of space for accessories. So if you want to close the bag, you just go like this. Close the bag. Just like that. And now it's closed. Closed. items 
that we have here. What do you think about it? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, let me go ahead and show you another item. So next I'm going to show you two, one, two, one, two head pieces. The first one I'm going to show you is this tiara. Tiara, 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 tiara. And these ones, they go on top of your head. Oops, don't want to get stuck there. They go on top of your head, okay? And this one has a little bit of like um, a brush at the back. So it will kind of like stick in place, kind of like a barrette. A little combed kind of thing. And you can see there's a lot of sparkles on here. Do you see all the sparkles? 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 There's a lot of sparkles here. This tiara has a lot of sparkles. Do you see all the sparkles? This tiara has a lot of sparkles on it. Sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. This tiara has a lot of sparkles on it. This tiara, it does have a lot of sparkles on it. And it's also gold. Gold, can you see it's gold? This tiara is gold colored with a lot of sparkly little crystals and gems. Little crystals and gems. Little, little crystals and gems. Okay, there we go. So that's one of the head pieces that we have. And additionally, we have something a little bit more cute and fun. These are the kitty cat ears. These are cat ears. These are cat ears. They're also gold, as you can see. Gold, 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 gold. And they've got lots of little sparkles within the ears. This headband has two ears. One, two, one, two, one, two. Two ears. One, two. One, two. This kitty cat ears has two. Okay, and also same thing goes inside your head. Okay, well, on top of your head. Goes on top, on top, on top, on top, on top. And there you go. This part just frames the side and then the top of your head. Okay, your gut is done. All right, so those are the two headbands that we have. Uh, next, I'm going to show you a few jewelry items. So we have this bracelet, this bracelet, this bracelet has three, one, two, three, three kind of pearl beaded lines or sections and it's grouped together with a really big bow and this bow has small pearls. See, this part has big pearls, chunky pearls and this part has small ones, small, small beads, okay? It makes the shape of a ribbon, a ribbon, a ribbon. In the middle, there's one, two, three, four. Four tiny little pearls. Okay. Super easy to put it on. Super easy. Just slip it on like this, okay? Just like that. Really, really pretty. And... Pearls, 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 okay, so that's one of our bracelets. We also have these bracelets here. They do have a matching set, a matching, a ma they do have a matching set. Here we have these other bracelets, 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 bracelets. They do have a matching set with a necklace. They are like a brownish color. Can you see? brown little beads with kind of golden little specks or flecks specks or flecks between them so this is like a set it comes together jewelry jewelry bracelet and just like with the other ones, it's so easy to put it on. You basically just open it up because it's super stretchy and you put it on your arm like this. And there you go. That's how easy it is to put them on. To take them off, it's the same. You can do it one at a time like that or two at a time. Just lift them up. Let them go up your wrist, up your fingers. And there you have it. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Jingle, jingle, bracelets. Jingle, jingle, bracelets. Okay. Now, next, I'm going to 
to show you a couple necklaces. So necklaces are the ones that go around your neck, around your neck, around your neck. Necklaces are a type of jewelry that go around your neck like this, okay? So we have this beautiful baby pink flowered necklace. This is more like one that goes high up. Some of them dangle down really long and some of them go closer up to your neck. This is a nice statement piece type of jewelry. You wouldn't wear this one every day, but it's a nice statement piece. Chunky piece of jewelry. Of jewelry. The petals are very delicate. You can move them around, so be very careful. They've got little tiny jewels in the center, little beads, little white, pink type beads, and a nice little golden chain. Golden chain, golden chain golden chain, golden chain, okay, this necklace has three chunky flowers, one, two, three, okay, do you see all three of them, one, two, three, one of them is really big, see, the one in the middle is larger, and the two on the ends are smaller, the two on the ends are the same size, but the one in the middle is the biggest one. It also has more beads in the center. I think it has one extra bead. It looks like this one might be falling a little bit. So I'll just sort of stick that back into place. Okay? Flowers. Pink, 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 pink flowers. Okay? Similarly, 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 we have this white necklace this white 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 necklace and I just unhooked it right there so I'll have to hook that back in a minute but this one also has pearls similar to the bracelet I showed you in the center it's got one big flower and this sort of thing on the side kind of like the leaves and it's also the same on this side two leaves I'm just gonna put this one to the side so that I can fix it, okay? So, sorry about that I've got one more necklace to show you and this one is um, gold and I really like this one it has like Egyptian Cleopatra vibes for me. Just really like this big chunky gold necklace with this sort of green in the center. Green in the center. So this one has two pieces on the sides and then in the middle a big circle kind of going in spirals and then another piece here. This is a more firmer piece. Then down at the bottom is the circle, the green one, that moves around a bit. It's attached at the back with two little chains. And the entire piece is held together by gold chains, gold chains, gold, 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 gold chains. Okay? I must say that out of the items I've shown you so far, this is probably my favorite one. earrings to show you, okay? So the first set, the first set, the first set, 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 the first set of earrings I have are these ones here. They're super, super thin. So I have two of them. One, two, because we have two ears. One ear, two ears. So generally people will wear the same on each side. Sometimes people don't. Sometimes they wear one up here or they wear different ones or, you know, making statements and all that. But primarily people would usually wear one of each, the same, la la la, like this. Okay, and these ones are kind of like, sort of Indian style, I guess, a little bit to me, they feel. Um, I like the design on the outside, I like the shape, I like how it's kind of a heart in this area. I like the silvery sparkles right there. 
and I just love how thin and lightweight they are. They don't weigh you down. They have a nice kind of shine to them. Super simple. You can go super casual with this or make it elegant with depending on what you're wearing. super easy. The other earrings I have are kind of uh, different. These ones are heavier, a bit chunky, um, and I guess they also could go either way. They could be, you know, put them on with a nice pair of jeans, or they can be a, a little bit more elegant. Well, actually, they go like this. These ones are um, purple, 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 purpura, purple, kind of like half circled, shiny, purple, half circles, <laughs> big and chunky and shiny and really pretty and kind of hoopy. They look really nice, really kind of different, a little bit, not typical style. Purple, purple, purple. Shoop. So those are the earrings, okay? Now to finish off with the jewelry, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you. Now to finish off with the jewelry, I'm going to show you two rings. Um, well, actually, I have some rings on myself for you to take a look at if you are interested in those. But I also have a nice chunky one. A nice chunky ring. It's kind of like a blue flower. Blue, blue, blue flower. It's a blue flower chunky ring. Okay. Dum, dum, dum. So I just put it on any finger, really. Would look nice. I think it looks nice there. And it also can look nice in the center. Um, I probably wouldn't put it at the end because uh, it's a little bit too big, but um, maybe not even on the thumb. I think the first two fingers look the best. So kind of make a whole statement for your hand. So it's a little flower and it's got one, two, three, four, five petals. Five blue petals, five blue petals, and in the middle is a little shiny diamond there. A little sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Okay. And it's just super easy to put on. You just slide it right on, slide it right on like that. Slide it right on, sl sl slide it right on like that. See? And it's a little bit stretchy. Okay. The other ring I have is a little bit more elegant, and um, it's a little flower with a little kind of leaf, little golden kind of leaf, and I really love this one a lot, so pretty, a little bit different. Also, you can um, open it up and close it, stretch it a bit to fit wherever you need it to fit. So yeah, those are the two rings that we have. Um, next I'm going to, next I'm going to show you, next I'm going to show you some perfumes. So the first one we have is this one here. It's Meow by Katy Perry. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. And it's, uh, this one is like the lighter scent. You can also get the stronger scent and it's like a darker purple cat. Got a little keychain M on there. I really like these bottles. The cat looks really pretty. Okay. It has like a subtle kind of aroma to it. Slightly 
slightly sweet but not not too much so we've got that one I also have this one here juicy couture juicy couture okay and this one is a little bit more strong scent a little bit more refined um, really really nice it's really strong kind of like youthful smell to it yes yeah, like youthfulness with a little bit of like classiness I don't know something like that whereas I feel the Katy Perry one is a little bit more youthfully like you'd wear it out with the girls but this one's more like you could wear it professionally to your job or something like that mm-hmm a couple more they're actually still inside the box so just give me a second to open it this one is Calvin Klein Calvin Klein Euphoria so it's got a really nice bottle like this super shiny this smell is I hmm, can't say it's one of my favorites, but you might like it. It's a very interesting bottle. <laughs> okay. And I also have one more to show you. Just let me put this back in the box. Just let me put this back in the box. Just let me, just let me put this back in the, just let me put this back in the box. So I have this one. It's by Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo. <laughs> Okay, so I've got this one right here. Jimmy Choo. Nice little bottle there with like little holes. And this one also can't say it's my favorite scent, but it's all right. Okay, so that's it. That concludes the perfume range okay let me just put that one away okay so I think that's everything that I have to show you that seems to be everything that I have to show you did anything stand out particularly for you some of the items did would you like a few minutes to sort of look through them and try them on on your own and everything yeah, and that's not a problem. I'd like go right ahead. Take all the time that you need. I'm going to just be right over here. Just going to put out some more fragrance cards, okay? So you just call me over when you're ready, okay? Okay. Thank you.